Teaching your puppy to drop something, it should be a fun and easy thing to do. Most dogs will scavenge and grab things off the floor, and I find that people have a tendency to just yell, drop it, drop it, drop it to the dog, but the dog really doesn't understand the language of what you're asking. So preparing a dog that drop it means literally spit whatever is in your mouth out, all right? And it takes time to do, but it's relatively easy, especially if you make it kind of fun and engaging. So I'm gonna ask Darwin here to come over here, and I'm gonna offer him this flossy, which is a piece of dehydrated rawhide. And while he's getting it, I'm gonna let him get a good chew going here before I say, drop it. Good boy, and I offer him another food source out of my other hand. So you could do this with socks, paper towel, toilet paper, things that the dog has a tendency to steal. But just make sure you have control over it. He's on a leash, he can't run under the table with it. He can't disappear into his crate with it, where you put yourself in a weird situation with the dog. This is something that's right here. I'm right here with him, I have control over him. He puts it in his mouth and I say, drop it. Yes, good boy. Now this is a kind of a high value thing to drop and I normally wouldn't ask you to start with something like this. At your house you can start with something that is a little bit easier for him to drop, one of his tug toys, one of his balls, something like that where you ask him for a drop. Now, once you do a few repetitions of this, you shouldn't need to use food anymore. He'll make the association with the word drop it. So dogs learn primarily by making association with sound. The same way a dog knows the sound of the treat jar or the sound of the cabinet that has his food in it, they can also learn the sound of a specific command and what it means to them. So if you say drop it, and drop it means you present a new food item for him that he drops one thing for and it's rewarding to him, he'll start dropping it automatically for the reward. Now, the big mistake people make is the dog will steal something specifically to get you to chase it around the house. So it's one of the funnier things you see when a, uh, kids come home from school, nobody's paying attention to the dog, the dog will dart into the bedroom, grab one of the kids' favorite toys and run through the living room with it. He doesn't hide under the bed and chew it, he runs through the living room because he knows that that's how you start the dog show and you get everybody up chasing you around. This is something that you can automatically make it a more pleasant and exciting thing to drop something out of, out of his mouth. Try not to use it so much for punishment. You'll see that um, after he's doing it with any repetition and any ease, we have a tendency to drop it, drop it, drop it, and yell at them. Try and keep it pleasant and exciting. He'll do what works best for him. Don't try and challenge him with it too much. All right, so that's a pretty easy way to teach your dog, drop it.